In part 1 of this video, we began solving the system of equations with three variables. We had to multiply some equations by constants in order to get the opposites we wanted to eliminate the same variable twice. Now that we have eliminated the x twice, we have two equations with two variables. At this point, we can solve the remaining equations using any method we're familiar with. This case is a particularly nice case in that equation a actually only has one variable. We can solve equation a quite nicely from this point. Equation a is 3y equals 3. By dividing both sides by 3, we'll be able to find out that y is equal to 1. We can now plug this value for y into equation b to find out what our next variable is. Equation b is negative 13y, which is 1, minus 5z equals negative 3. And that gives us negative 13 minus 5z equals negative 3. Adding 13 to both sides gives us negative 5z equals 10. And dividing by negative 5, tells us that z is equal to negative 2. Finally, we just have to find the x. Now that we've solved a and b completely, we can go back to either of the original equations in order to find the remaining variable. Let's use equation 1 simply because the numbers are smaller. Equation 1 is 2x minus 2y, which we found out was 1, minus z, which we found out was negative 2, equals 8. This gives us 2x minus 2 plus 2 equals 8. Combining like terms, the 2's subtract out, and we have 2x equals 8. Dividing by 2, we're left with x equals 4. We now have our solution for x, y, and z, and as usual, we'll express our answer as an ordered triplet with three numbers in alphabetical order, x, comma, y, comma, z. x is 4, y is 1, and z is negative 2. This is the combination of numbers that will make all three of these equations true at the same time.